price of winning is too high. Wait till you get the bill from regret. Discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go shit. Man, I wish I would have listened to my gut, I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done, and work your relationships, it's cool, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley. If you don't have a new mind, no more fucking around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can help you. Wake yourself up. In setting goals, it's very simple. Number one, decide what you want. You just take a little time. You sit down and say, what do I want? What kind of skills do I want? What kind of income do I want for the future? Where would I like to go? Places I'd like to visit? Uh, habits I'd like to acquire? Skills I'd like to have? You just take a little time to think about what you want. Economics, friendships, people you'd like to meet, places you'd like to go, you just take some time. And then I suggest when you've thought about what you want for the future, make a list. Just jot it all down. It's a, really a very simple process. Get together with your family, your wife, your husband, your children, your business colleagues, and make it one of the major fundamentals in your life, constantly setting, rearranging, evaluating, and strengthening the purpose of your goals. Self-confidence. Where does self-confidence come from? And this is the best advice I can give you on that. Not neglecting, first of all, the small daily discipline. Self-confidence really comes from feeling good about yourself. And one of the best ways to feel good about yourself is at the end of the day to know that you poured it on. You did your best. If you conducted a meeting, you did the best you could. If you made a phone call, it was the best phone call you could possibly make. If you wrote a letter, it wasn't a casual letter, it was your best letter. At the end of those kind of days, when you feel good about yourself, self-confidence starts to rise. You know that if you can have this kind of a good day, you can have another one the next day, and those days become the weeks, the weeks become the months, and the month becomes a powerful year. Self-confidence comes from the lack of neglect if you will not neglect to do the small daily discipline. means you need to walk. You need to be active. But now the question is, when you look at your 24 hour day, how much of this 24 hour day is it active? And how much of it is it like waiting, sitting and passively observing? And Mr. Schoff gave me all kinds of examples on lifestyle. He gave me two phrases that helped change my life. In case you have to leave early, let me give you these two phrases. It'll be worth the price of coming and being here today. Just take these two phrases home, in case you have to leave early. Here's number one. Schoff said, Mr. Owen, if you wish to be wealthy, study well. When he said that, I said, my gosh, I don't know anybody that studies well. Where am I going to learn it? He said, never mind, Mr. Owen. Now that you've met me, if you'll be with me for a while, he said, and if you'll commit yourself, he said, I will teach you. And he taught me. He taught me the books. He taught me the stuff. Changed my life. By the time I was 31, I was a million. The man taught me that. If you wish to be wealthy, well. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals they'll give me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're going to be proud this year. And no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you resolve this is how it's going to be, that's when you cut off any possibility, except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, 
you burn the boats. Cause when you burn, those boats, there's no going back you're gonna find a way to make things work. You gotta do your best work when you're least motivated. Kids ought to be taught from the time they're just small what to do with a dollar. If a child has a dollar and goes and spends it, right away they've developed the wrong habit. And sure enough, if they continue those poor management habits over the first dollar, you can imagine they're probably going to do the same poor things with those same dollars when they get older. The plans we learn when we're small, sure enough, are most often the plans we follow the rest of our lives. What to do with your money and where to put it. We teach in the care and feeding of the goose that lays the golden eggs. You've got to be a happy taxpayer. You've got to make sure some of your money goes into financial institutions so that successful people can borrow it and start other businesses that employ more people. Uh, you've got to make sure that uh, you give some of your money for charity. So for charity and for taxes and for savings and for the accumulation of capital, it's very important to have a management plan. When we come to an opportunity like Herbalife, especially uh, multi-level network marketing, it is so dynamic, it is so powerful, and it is so possible in fortune making that sometimes people want to speed up the process by cutting the corners, by neglecting to do the right things, you know, to cheat a little here, cheat a little here, you know, cross the line just a little bit because then, you know, it'll grow faster and you can cash in quicker. Not necessary here. Doing Herbalife right will build your fortune longer and stronger than trying to cut the corners and not doing it right. Vitally important building and developing your own character. Here's the next key power, and that's image. There's many parts to image. The image that others see you as, the image you have with other people. And it's very important how other people see you. Mr. Shelf said, Mr. Owen, if you wish to be happy, study happiness. I didn't know happiness was a study. My best hope for happiness at age 25 was to just go through the day with my fingers crossed. Open somehow, something would make me happy. Shelf said, no, Mr. Rohn, happiness is not something you postpone. Happiness is not something off in the future. Happiness is something you design. You've got to get the word. Happiness is something you design. Happiness is a study. Happiness is a practice. Happiness is an art. It's not an accident. It's an art. And anybody that wants to can study, practice, the art, happy living. Happiness is like culture. Money doesn't make you cultured. But culture is within the grasp of all of us. Start with those two levels of balancing would already be enough. That simply means maybe you're too active in some parts and maybe you're too passive in other parts. No matter in what you are investing it, Every one of us has 24 hours that we can work with. Any other skill that you can develop in this world. Any skill must be nourished over and over again. And this is why there is the saying, for example, the real skill, the Kung Fu, what we call Kung Fu. Yeah? It's a skill attained by investing a lot of effort. There are only at 86,400 seconds in a day and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die. Be what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 asterisk king pounds, be about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning a week, and then you start winning a month, and then you start winning a year, are you hearing what I'm saying? You've got the bet on you. You believe in everybody else. You clap for everybody else, you support everybody else. But when are you gonna look in the mirror and believe in the damn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you. 
because you got it. Most people try to design tomorrow and next week and next month in their head. They try to just decide what they're going to do. And most people don't even think that far ahead. They think, I have to get up in the morning and go to work and that's about the extent of it. But a game plan, a game plan for financial independence, a game plan for your work time, a game plan for your personal time. The family needs a game plan so that you won't miss some of the important things that are helpful to your life and to your success. The kids need a game plan. Mom needs a game plan. Dad needs a game plan. You need a business game plan. You need a game plan for your office. If you're in business, a game plan for your business. A detailed plan for the use of your work time. In the leadership seminar, we talk about how to put together this detailed plan for the day and for the week and for the month. How to stretch out a plan for six months and for a year. In doing business around the world, we found that you have to detail the plans in great detail. Otherwise, sure enough, you're going to miss something. Second question you must answer is, where am I from? Very important question. It's a tough question. As a matter of fact, humans have been trying to answer this question for over two, three thousand years. Today, they have been even attempt to say that you are from monkeys. Uh, they talk about evolution, but they try to explain that you came from some big bang that caused some genetic coding in the slime, in the in the abyss of six billion years, and all this stuff they talk about. They try to explain where you're from. You see, until you know where you're from, you don't know who you are. What is your source? Where did you come from? It's a very important question. And the third question I have to answer is, why am I here? That's a tough question. Why were you born? Why were you conceived? Why are you on this planet right now? Why did you come to Earth? These are tough questions. 